Hi everybody, hi my sweet friends. I'll take this down because I'm in a bathroom right now. Um, so today is a little different. Welcome to Cal Preach. Unfortunately, I can't do like a regular video today because I am in Los Angeles and um, like I said, I've had all of this stuff going on that I can't really share about, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, you know, I'm a little stressed and I could use some prayer. Um, and I am gonna get my hormones checked because a lot of people have been commenting that perhaps I'm going through some hormonal issues, which I sure, I'm, I'm sure I am. But um, that has nothing to do with the things that I have been telling you are coming up. Um, but soon enough, I'll be able to reveal everything that has been going on in my world and it's been slightly overwhelming. Um, but I, I wanted to acknowledge um, that, you know, when I start to feel overwhelmed and stressed, sometimes I forget to pray. And so if I could just get the community of California preaching, praying uh, for me and my family, um, especially this week, it would mean the world to us. And to me, um, really, truly, and um, I am trying to remember that I cannot be my own Lord, my own God, my own savior, that I have Jesus Christ at the throne of my heart and that I am a born again, baptized in the spirit Christian and Jesus Christ is, um, you know, watching over me right now. And I hate for this to sound like me, me, me right now, but I just really need to remind myself that um, I have a king and a, and a savior and that I'm loved by a holy God. And I hope that that helps somebody else today to just remember that, you know, um, in our darkest times, you know, that's, it's sometimes it's, it's, it feels like a breakdown, but it's actually a breakthrough. And I'm just praying for breakthroughs right now in the mighty name of Jesus for not only myself, but for everybody in my family and that, um, Everyone will be saved in my family. I'm claiming that today in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm claiming all of my children for salvation and all of their souls to be saved. Guys, if you have any children that you're worried about right now, let's just take a moment. Grandchildren, children, Father, we just, we give you um, everybody in our lives who we just worry about their salvation, Father God, because all we can do is scatter the seed and we ask you, Lord, to bring all of our loved ones to salvation, Lord, that you would do a mighty work on them, God, on their souls, and that they would be able to have a repentant heart and to be able to come to you like little children and ask you into their heart and into their lives and to be their Lord and Savior and to be baptized in the Spirit, Lord. I thank you, God, that I'm not alone today and that I do trust you, Jesus, my suffering savior, I do trust you. I do trust that you are um, above me, below me, behind me, in front of me, inside of me, God. I do trust and I thank you, Father, for giving me the strength to be able to cope with this week, Lord Jesus. And <sighs> all the trials uh, that I'm facing, I, I just really trust that um, you're going to walk me through it. Lord, if you bring me to it, you're going to walk me through it. And I just know that I can conquer the world today with the love of Christ and be just a light out there on the world. And I ask, Lord, that you would make each and one of us, you know, your hands and your feet, Father God, that you would just walk us um, through whatever fire we're walking through today, God, and to purify us and to um, bring us to a place where we are completely and utterly surrendered to you um, in all humility. And uh, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father God. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. I have to make this a short one today because, um, because I am dealing with so much and I have so much on my plate, God, you guys, but whew, yeah, tomorrow I'm posting 
the um, Mary Hudson video. She's Katy Perry's mom and she has an amazing testimony. She is such a prayer warrior and such an evangelist. And I pray that you will watch that video because it's very moving and funny and um, it's a cool story. It's a really cool story. Anyway, guys, peace of Christ and just know that I'm beyond moved with the subscribership and what's going on on the channel. I'm just really moved by it and, uh, and I just hope that you'll remember that I really am just one of the sheep. I, I'm not a preacher. I'm just somebody who's walking out her faith with you guys every single day and you know I hope it brings you encouragement and it brings you a feeling of connection in these times of loneliness and um, as <clears throat> this year comes to an end just remember if you're feeling like you're becoming unraveled I think it might be also because all of us have been so you know I'm not speaking for you but I've felt lonely and I've felt angry and I've felt grief and I have felt disconnected and I have felt scared and terror over everything that's happened this year. And I think all of us have felt that to some degree. So, um, you know, just be patient with yourself and gentle with yourself and just keep turning it to the Lord. Keep, keep you turning it back to the cross, you guys, because as it comes to an end, sometimes that's when our body starts to let go and we start to feel feelings that we hadn't felt before. So I think that's completely normal. I love you and I'll check in with you. Um, so tomorrow I'll post the Katy Perry mom video, Mary video, and then, um, and then I'll check in again with you guys on Sunday or Monday. Okay, God bless you. Bye, peace of Christ.